Hello and welcome back. So today's video, I will be ranking my lipsticks. I do have a playlist of ranking makeup. I have ranked eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, highlighters, and I still do plan on doing blush and lip gloss as well. I do have 30 lipsticks and I will be doing this one a little bit differently because the ones that are the same formula, I just decided to group together because I feel the same about them. It just kind of depends on whatever color I'm in the mood to wear. So I will be doing swatches on my hand. Sorry, I'm not doing lip swatches on all of these. Let's get into it. All right, number 30, least favorite. You may have saw this coming if you've been watching my channel lately. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Bitch Perfect. And I don't think any of my lipsticks are bad, but this is just my least favorite because it is definitely drying. I think it's good. It's a pretty color but it's not great and for $34, I just, I don't think this is worth it, but I did keep it because I like the color. All right, so there's Bitch Perfect. It's a peachy pink. Um, it looks more glossy on the hand than it does on the lips. It just becomes really matte and a bit dry, but I do like the color, but I don't think this is worth the price. Number 29, I'm pretty surprised about because I previously thought I liked this more. This is the Healthy Lip by Physicians Formula Liquid Lipstick. I only have one in the color All Natural Nude. I have this in a project pan and I previously thought I liked this more, but since putting it in a project pan, I've just realized it's like, I don't know, it's a bit of a clumpy formula. It's not super drying, but it's just a bit thick on the lips. So. I like the color, but again, this formula is not my favorite. Well, there is the all natural nude swatch. This next one, as far as the liquid lipstick, I do think is a fairly comfortable formula. I just don't really reach for it. I guess that's why I'm ranking it low, but it is a pretty color. It is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Kisses. It's a pretty color, but I don't know. There's just something about this that I don't reach for, but I don't think this formula is really all that bad. Well, there it is there. It's kind of like a darker berry type color. So I like the color. I don't know. I just don't really reach for this. The next one is a 100 point perk from Sephora and it is a deluxe size Tom Ford lipstick in Scarlet Rouge. And I think this formula is fine. It's just not really amazing. Um, this is a classic red and it's a fairly glossy lipstick, but I mostly keep this around because this is my only like classic red lip color, which I don't wear a lot. You'll see I do have a few other reds here, but they're more brighter ones. So I would say this is okay, but I don't think I would pay full price for a Tom Ford lipstick. I think they are like pushing on $40, maybe even more. So this is fine, but not my favorite. There it is. You can tell that it's kind of a glossy red, which could be a bit problematic. So it definitely does need a lip liner as to not move around. 26 is a Chanel lipstick. This is actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. This color is 426 Russi. And I do like this. It's a really pretty pink, but again, I think this one I'm ranking lower just because I don't think it's anything that amazing. I think these Chanel lipsticks are somewhere around $38. So this is definitely a pretty pink and I like the color, but I don't know that there's anything that spectacular about the Chanel formula to make it worth the high price tag. There's the Chanel lipstick. It is a really pretty pink, so yeah. I do like this, but yeah, like I said, not sure it's worth the price. Okay, next up, I've gone into like a brand. These are my two Maybelline lipsticks. Maybelline used to be like my favorite lipstick formula ever, and I still do really like these two. It's not a super long lasting formula, although it is very comfortable, but after a while, I think it may be because more of these are nudes, I get like that ring thing happening. So I don't know, I do like these, but I wouldn't say they're the best in the world, but for $6, these are quite good. So this color here is Truffle Teas. And if you've been watching YouTube for a while, you would know this was like a super popular color. And I love this like cool tone nude. So I really like this color. I keep it around because I feel like it's kind of unique to my collection. And then this one is Baddest Beige. This isn't their high shine formula, although I don't think it's really that different from their original formula. And again, I like this, but 
I mostly just keep around because it's really the only like super pale pinky nude that I have anymore. This used to be my go-to type of shade, but I'm just not as into super nudes anymore. But I do think that the Maybelline formula is pretty good and quite comfortable. I will say this was hard just because I do like all the lipsticks I have for the most part. And I did do that recent declutter. But anyway, the next one is Urban Decay 1993. This is their comfort matte formula. And I think this formula is okay. I'm not really like blown away by the Urban Decay lipsticks. It's not super long lasting for a matte, but I mostly keep this because it is such a unique color in my collection. It is a brown and it's a bit of a cool toned brown. I just really love this color. It's so unique. I don't have anything like it. I think the formula is good. It's not amazing. It is comfortable for sure. Not the most long lasting, but yeah, I love 1993. Next up is my only Too Faced lipstick. This is their Melted Matte in Gingerbread Girl. And I gotta say, I'm not like a huge liquid lipstick person, but this is a pretty comfortable formula. And this one smells like really good gingerbread. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is a gorgeous color. I don't really have anything like it. I don't wear this very often. I may have only worn this like a few times, sadly, but it is a comfortable formula and I do like it, but I mean, it's I think $21. I don't know, you will see. Um, I do have a liquid lipstick formula that I like a little better than this that's cheaper, but there it is right there and that's Gingerbread Girl. Alrighty, next up we have the Ofra liquid lipsticks. This is a pretty comfortable formula too. This is not too drying, um, but this one definitely needs a lip liner. The Too Faced one I think is matte enough and stays in place that it doesn't really need a lip liner, but this one definitely does. I have had other colors in this formula and I do really like it. This is the only one I have now. This is the color Malibu. It's a straight up purple. Um, I have the, worn this in a few videos and I really do like the color but this is a creamier formula for so for such a bold color it does need a lip line there is ofra malibu all right the next three are the traditional mac tube lipsticks this used to be my all-time favorite lipstick formula i still do really like it um, i have three left and i really like these colors again i don't know that mac is that amazing to me anymore because you will see i will talk about some cheaper lipsticks that I like, maybe even better than this, but I do really enjoy these three colors. Two of these were like limited edition collections, so let me swatch these. All right, this one is Nikki's Nude by Nicki Minaj, and I really like this. It's a very peachy pink, and I don't really have any color exactly like this, but yeah, I do like this one. And so this is an amplified cream. So MAC does have different formulas, but I don't know, none of them are really all that different to me, but this one is a matte. This is the Patrick Star in She Better Work. This I think is one of my favorite pinks ever. It's right there. I love it. It's such a flattering color on me. And I will say that their matte formula is very comfortable. This is a mini, by the way. They have the, some of the colors for minis, $10. And then their full size, I think, are up to $18 now. When I first got into buying MAC lipsticks like 10 years ago, they were only $14. Anyway, it happens. But this is Velvet Teddy, which is also a matte. This is one of their cult classic shades. It's kind of a darker nude with maybe a bit of pink in it. I do really like this color. So yeah, I like the MAC formula. I don't know that it's the best in the world. Okay, next up are my Morphe liquid lipsticks. I actually think this is a really good formula. I think these are $10. These you don't need a lip liner with, but they're still really comfortable. They're not too drying. I don't know, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with these. Um, I do have three colors. So the Morphe colors, the lightest nude is Virgin. This more pinky color is Schoolgirl, and that bright orange red is Hot Shot. I love that. That is such an amazing orange red, so. Like I said, I think that as far as liquid lipstick goes, the Morphe formula is quite comfortable. More liquid lipsticks, and I actually think 
This may be like the best matte liquid lipstick formula I've ever tried. It doesn't need a lip liner, but it's not overly drying. And that is these MAC ones. I think these are called, yeah, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. And I have two of them. They are just, they're really nice. Um, I don't know that I really should buy more liquid lipsticks because I don't really wear them that often. And I like the ones I have, but I would say I'm more of a regular lipstick person overall. So this peach color is Mademoiselle and the red is Feel So Grand. This is like a gorgeous like red velvet type of red. I really love this one too. Um, it's just a really, really nice color. Very beautiful. Okay, we have 12 lipsticks left. This surprises me. I am ranking this this high. This was also a 100 point perk from Sephora. I never even buy anything from NARS, but I thought, well, I have points, I'll use it. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pen Pencil in Dance Fever. I've worn this in several videos. I was wearing this in a few videos I did. Oh, I had a shot my stash and a project pan update. I was wearing this and Wow, this formula is so comfortable and I love this color. It's a very cool toned taupey color. It's really cool looking. It's more dramatic, but it's not super crazy dramatic and it is so comfortable and it wears really, really well, which as we know, sometimes a lot of dark colors wear off like kind of crazy like. This wears off very gracefully. So I am super impressed. I don't know that I would really buy any of these. I don't even know how expensive they are, honestly. My guess is that they're pretty expensive because it's NARS, but I love this formula and I love this color. The next three are kind of a newer formula to my collection in the last like two, three months. That is the ColourPop Lippy Tints. I would have never thought I liked these as much as I do because I thought they were going to be much more sheer than they are. I do like a more pigmented lip color, but these are more pigmented than I thought and so comfortable. They wear gracefully. They have a bit of shine, but they do not need a lip liner. They stay in place and they fade away just like really naturally. And I love all three colors that I have. All right, so this kind of darker purple, that is this one, Treasure Island. The lighter pink nude is this one called The Strand and the brighter red is chimichanga. And I will say these show up even more pigmented on the lips than they do in these swatches. But yeah, like I said, I love this formula. And because of this shape, they are very, very easy to apply and get accurately onto your lips. And even though they have a bit of a shine, I do not need a lip liner with these, so yeah. This is one of my favorite formulas ever. All right, so only two formulas left to talk about, and this is my second favorite, the Wet n Wild. These are the High Shine Liquid Cat Suit. So these are a liquid lipstick, but they're kind of more of a lipstick lip gloss hybrid. They definitely have some shine to them. What I will say about these, though, is that these two colors definitely need a lip liner. They look kind of weird and splotchy without one, but I love the colors so much that I really don't mind. The nude, you don't need a lip liner with, but it looks a bit better with it. But again, I wear this one often without a lip liner, but these two need it. So there's the nude in, this is Send Nudes. It's a bit more cool toned. So I really, really like this one. It's super pretty. This pink here is Taffy Tantrum. I wore this in several videos recently and I got a lot of compliments on it. And then the purple is Berry Down Low. So like I said, these are amazing. I love these colors, but I actually pair them with the same lip liner, ColourPop Lumiere, because that's a pinky purple. So it actually works for either one of these. It just gives them more ability to be accurate because like I said, they're more of a lip gloss, liquid lipstick hybrid, but so comfortable comfortable, and they also wear away gracefully and I love these. All right, if you've been watching my channel, you can probably guess my ultimate favorite lipsticks ever. That is the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks. These are so comfortable. They last a decent amount of time on the lips and they have a ton of color varieties. These are only $7. The packaging is like a hard, like metal type thing. I don't know, it just 
feels, looks luxurious, and performs amazing. So I have five colors. Let me show you the swatches. Pinky Purple was from their Disney collection. I think the first Disney collection that they had in Cinderella. So I don't think that this one is available anymore, but they have tons of pinks in their permanent colors. The weird thing about this Lux formula is I've noticed that they like discontinue the colors pretty quickly, but then they bring new ones on that are similar. So I don't know, that's kind of weird that they do that, but this one is layover. This one is still available. I love it. This may be like my ultimate favorite everyday lipstick. It's a bit more warm toned. I just really like it. And I think it looks really good with my skin tone. And like I said, this formula is beyond fantastic. This one is What's Your Sign? This one was a Kathleen Lights collab. Last I checked, this wasn't on the website anymore, which kind of surprised me because most of her stuff is permanent. Although it is very similar to Layover. It's just like a little bit lighter. So I probably don't need both, but I do like them both. This one is Ghosted. This is a pinkish with a bit of berry. It's a pretty bold color. Um, I will say though, this for being such a bold tube lipstick, I actually don't need a lip liner with this. It does look a bit better with one, but I can definitely get away not wearing one. And this color is beautiful. This one is in their Velvet Blur formula of the Luxe lipsticks. This color is Lucky Strike. And I will say this is definitely more matte than the other ones. I think this Velvet Blur formula is quite nice. Um, this was the only one I have, but yeah, you can just tell that it's more matte than the other ones. So this is kind of one of those classic mauve shades. I really, really do like this, even though I don't usually like these type of colors. This one, I will say just because the color is a bit darker does look better with a lip liner. And when I do use this, I do use Lumiere with that one too. That is a very universal lip liner I've noted for anything with like pink or purple in it. So anyway. This is Velvet Blur, and it's definitely more matte than the other Luxe lipstick formulas, but I like all of them. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. I've ranked all my 30 lipsticks. It's kind of shocking that my favorite formulas are so affordable. ColourPop and Wet n Wild are definitely my favorites here, and the Morphe too. I mean, I do really like the other higher-end lipsticks that I have, but just comparing them all, the cheaper ones are just as good, if not better, which is just crazy to believe. So I think my lesson learned is that I should not buy high-end lipstick anymore unless I'm sure I really, really like the formula. So anyway, that is it for this video. Let us know what is your favorite lipstick formula. Are you more of a tube lipstick, liquid lipstick? Let us know. That is it for this video and you can check out my ranking makeup playlist and thank you for watching.